The ones.com idea is definitely raising a valid point where if you want to build a business, I was just on a call with a prospect earlier and they didn't really have a proper business plan yet for the new venture. It's actually a nonprofit. So they have some funding and they know what they want to build, but they don't necessarily have the right business plan. So I was working them through, okay, we need to take that a step back. Let's just because it's not an addressable market for us. Let's figure out how many potential businesses you have. Let's take five to 10% of them that we're going to try to acquire in the first two years. And then let's work backwards for the pricing tiers and the business plan and this and that, they definitely, again, in mid of 2024, they were still reconsidering and, and, and thinking about that monthly recurring revenue model for a subset of assets. That's something that, honestly, they could sell once and people don't really need anymore. So it was completely viable to record that on a CD and ship people and charge whatever, 40 bucks or 50 bucks for that once, or even if it's super viable, charge 100 bucks. But, but you know, they don't really need that anymore. And paying monthly didn't make sense in that specific case. Once.com idea makes a lot of sense when you have a business plan and you need to build something and you don't want to be bothered with kind of recurring costs and recurring subscriptions. One example is just, again, launching a business, building a website. Nowadays, you need to, you know, pay for a premium theme and then you need to pay an annual license for that team. Same goes for all the plugins, and same goes for the hosting, and same goes for the other licenses, or Google Cloud, or this or that, or this or that. And you quickly start adding up more and more and more additional expenses in infrastructure and hosting and project management apps and email and this and that. And this is something that really shouldn't be happening. In most cases, once again, you should be able to have a server at home or so that you pay for 300 bucks and you host everything at home. And then you have a backup somewhere that only costs like 20 bucks a month extra or so. And if anything happens to your computer, like there's a fire, a drought or something, then it gets ported back to the other system up until you buy a new one, for example, right? So you don't have that recurring monthly expense going on and piling up over and over and over again. But whether this is going to happen anytime soon, it's hard to tell. Uh, SaaS is definitely easier to maintain. It's easier to control access. Single uh, lifetime licenses are pretty easy to hack. So piracy was definitely happening. You know, what happened previously with Windows or computer games, it was really easy to find patches or go to Pirate Bay and just download some stuff illegally and not pay for it. It was really hard to control access to that. So I guess kind of the biggest problem right there is having companies that are profitable and are able to keep maintaining and changing these licenses. But I still do see the shift and the necessity to have some of these services in order to have businesses that don't uh, get piled up with monthly expenses month over after month without even generating substantial revenue at this point.